Kirk Williamson along with Tri-City Americans coach John Oliver. John, uh, you continue to uh, dominate the Kamloops Blazers at least the last four games, but uh, another real scramble here at home. Well, the last uh, previous tonight, four games in a row in overtime, and tonight looked like another one destined to go in overtime. We just, I think we must enjoy playing overtime or something because uh, every game we're leading, late in the hockey game, and we seem to give up that goal, and it isn't a case of us not talking about it or trying hard enough to defend it. Um, we just, uh, we've just lost confidence to hold the lead, and it's something we're going to have to continue to work on and, and continue to uh, uh, execute uh, our defensive coverage better and, and make sure we're not getting caught because uh, uh, we can't continue to keep giving up leads like this. It's gonna, it's gonna, we're going to continue to lose more games. Well, I think the problem is that, that uh, too many folks mistake you for a player and they're trying to get some more gray on your, uh, on your hair there to, to uh, you know, give you that distinctive look. <laughs> I'll tell you, I, I went through, I don't know how many thumbs tonight. My stomach has been uh, just on end here the last week. Uh, I mean, I'm still running through those, those last two Portland games where we had three goal leads in the third period. And the last last game we played Portland, uh, we have a one goal lead with a minute to go in the game. And, and we're on the power play. They're a man short. They score shorthanded. It just seems no matter what the circumstances, they, they tie it up. I... I'm getting, I'm trying now, I think I might leave the bench the last two minutes because uh, obviously what I'm doing isn't working. The uh, crowd again, uh, another sellout here in Tri-Cities Coliseum, uh, certainly can be a factor in the game, but it can also be, uh, break that concentration sometimes by well, being uh, as boisterous as they are. I think, I think maybe that's a little, and I certainly, we can't blame the fans, and I uh, couldn't be more happy that they're behind us and supportive, and it is difficult, I must add, to, to when we call that timeout to try to talk what we want to do now. We, we got the lead back in a minute and a half to go on what we wanted to do. It, it's almost impossible to talk to the players. It's so loud, but we appreciate it. And, and that might have something to do with the fact that we try to do things we shouldn't and, and should try to slow the play down a little bit at that point and just play very conservative. John, the uh, Moose Jaw Warriors come to town on Sunday. Uh, they're a team the Americans handled fairly easily uh, at Moose Jaw on the long road trip. In fact, it's the first win of that road trip. Yes, we uh, we did have an easy time, but they are one team that we really dominated, but uh, uh, they're a funny team. Some nights they've been able to uh, play very well, and other nights they haven't. They they lost us 6-2 uh, and turned around, and when Victoria was out there, beat them 11 nothing, and they came out here to Spokane the first game on uh, Wednesday night, beat them 8-4. So they're a team that can certainly play well uh, they're inconsistent, but when they're on, they're tough to beat, and they're a team that we cannot take lightly. Obviously, we can't take any team lightly. We've got to play our best every night to win, and uh, we're going to be preparing very hard for Moose Jaw because it is, a, it is definitely a must-win for us. Now, Moose Jaw was the team uh, in position to uh, claim the Czechoslovakian player who defected after the tournament last week in Canada. What is the current uh, status of, of that uh, player? Well... He's, uh, as far as the league is concerned, the Western Hockey League, uh, they've awarded him to Moose Jaw in the event he does uh, clear immigration, but I understand that it, uh, it's a real problem. Uh, they've toughened the immigration laws in Canada, and uh, the last time I heard, uh, the Czechs uh, did not want to release his plane rights, and I understand his parents were flying over to try to convince him to come back, so uh, that situation's really up in the air, and it's one that you know, regardless, he's not our, you know, not our property, so it's uh, not one that I'm all that interested in, really. You're not likely to find him playing uh, anytime real soon, then? No, I'd be, uh, you know, if he was able to play at the very quickest, it would be next year. John Oliver, head coach of the Tri-City Americans, congratulations on a good victory tonight over the Kamloops Blazers, 9-7, and uh, looking forward to that game against Moose Jaw on Sunday night. We sure are, and we'll, uh, I hope we have a a blowout there, but uh, if uh, if the last week is any indication, we'll be in for another close game and possibly overtime. John Oliver, thanks very much, and we'll be back to talk with some of tonight's players in one minute on this Tri-Cities Radio Americans Hockey Broadcast. 